Solutions to Engineering Mechanics Textbook, 5th edition, S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, Sukumar, Pati. In this video, we will solve the problem set to 2.1, problem number 2.9, that is, two rollers of weight P and Q are supported by an inclined plane and vertical walls as shown in figure. Draw the free body diagram of both the rollers taken separately. The formulas or concepts required to solve the problem is if any system contains the string or cable or ropes etc. The force is along the axis and it is away from the support. Similarly, if the system contains any bars or struts or booms, the force is along the axis and the direction will be decided whether it is a tension or compression is based on its equilibrium condition. Similarly, if any body is supported with wall or floor or trough etc. There is a reaction force developed on the body. And that reaction force is always perpendicular to the support and it is towards the body. Okay. So with this concept, let us go to the solution of our problem. So in this problem, there are two rollers P and Q. Clearly we can see in the diagram P and Q are supported by some fixed support. Let us give some names here D, E, F. So the rollers P and Q are supported by a, a fixed walls of D, E, F, inclined fixed walls of D, E, F. Our interest is to draw the free body diagram of roller P and Q separately. Let us discuss roller by roller. First, let us consider roller P. The weight of roller P, that is weight P, is x downwards. Clearly, it is already indicated here. In addition to this, this roller P is supported by the fixed wall at A and B and also it is supported by another roller Q here. So, at all these places, reaction forces will develop. First consider at point A. What is the reaction force? Since it is a fixed support, the reaction force will be the perpendicular to fixed support that is DE and it is at point A and it is towards the roller P. This is the reaction at A or A. Similarly, the roller is supported at B. Hence, the reaction developed at point B is perpendicular to the fixed surface EF and it is at B and it is also towards the roller P. So this is reaction force at B. You can also look at the roller Q. The roller Q is supported by fixed support EF at point C. Hence, a reaction force developed at C which is perpendicular to EF and at point C and it is towards the roller Q. Here the reaction force is RC. In addition to this, the roller P is supported by Q and Q is supported by P. So there must be reaction forces on each roller by the other roller. What is the direction of those reactions? Just 
by extending the same concept of these fixed support reactions here also the reaction force will be perpendicular to the supporting surface what is the supporting surface here so to draw the perpendiculars let us draw a tangent to this perpendicular to this tangent along along the perpendicular to this tangent the reaction force will develop that means the reaction force on p is perpendicular to this tangent and it is towards the point towards the roller p let this reaction is r the same reaction will develop on roller q perpendicular to this tangent and it is towards q the same reaction so these are the various forces that are acting on the rollers p and q let us transfer all these forces onto separate xy plane first let us consider the various forces are acting on roller p so this i am considering for roller p this is my p the first force is self weight p of course always acts downwards and the magnitude is p the next one is reaction r a which is perpendicular to d towards point towards the roller p that means just i am transferring this onto my xy plane and it my this magnitude is let r a what is the other force acting on the roller p r b just transfer this r b which is perpendicular to e f and just i am transferring in addition to that there is a reaction force from roller q on to roller p that also i need to represent here this one this force i am transferring to this what is the magnitude let us say r so this is the free body diagram of roller p we need to indicate the angles also very important p is vertical of course along y axis now let us take r a we know that r a is perpendicular to d e and that d e makes an angle 15 degrees with the vertical hence r a makes the same 15 degrees angle with the horizontal that means this angle becomes 15 degrees let us extend the same concept for the reactions r b and r c r b is perpendicular to e f and ef makes an angle 15 degrees with the horizontal hence rb makes the same angle 15 degrees with the vertical now r force now r force this r force is parallel to the surface this r force is parallel to the surface parallel to ef and ef makes an angle 15 degrees with the horizontal hence r makes an angle 15 degrees with the horizontal so this is so this is the total free body diagram of roller p let us extend the same concept to roller q this is my x y axis i am considering my x y axis first i am drawing the self weight q next r c r c is the reaction force at c which is perpendicular to e f r c this e f makes an angle 15 degrees with the horizontal hence r c makes the same 15 degrees angle with the vertical so this is r c okay sitting on q that is r that r i am transferring onto the x y plane 
what is the angle this is the same line so this angle makes 15 degrees with the horizontal hence this angle is 15 degrees and this angle rc makes an angle 15 degrees with the vertical like this and r makes an angle 15 degrees with the vertical like this hence this is the free body diagram of roller My dear friends and students, if you want the solution for any of the subject in the field of machine design, namely strength of materials, theory of machines, machine design, engineering mechanics, finite element method, mechanical vibrations, please give the reference in the comment section so that I will solve the problem, prepare a video and upload in my channel. Please subscribe and share my video.